Now in this video, I want to ask uh, you atheists five questions. So five questions for why you are an atheist and why you believe in what you believe. And almost none of his questions will actually have to do with that topic. Okay, so let's start off. Okay, so my first question is, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Neither. They came together. Because animals don't evolve as single individuals, they evolve as entire groups. So whatever led to chickens, that entire group became chickens. That entire group laid eggs. Therefore, when they could be classified as a chicken, their eggs could be classified as chicken eggs. Atheists don't know this. We do. Bull and shit. We know that God created every living creature on earth. No, you don't. It says this in Genesis 1.21 in the Bible. It also says that snakes can talk. Read it. And yet you scientists are still trying to figure out which came first. <laughs> no, they're not. Because they're a lot smarter than that. You haven't figured out anything at all. Or uh, DNA, fossils, and etc. All you can do is theorize and come up with theories. Theories are statements that explain facts. And in, but in the end, you don't know the answer. With Except they have a pretty damn good idea. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Neither, because neither of them can masturbate, so neither of them can came. Now, you atheists say that you can't have the chicken without the egg, and you can't have the egg without the chicken. I think you'll be hard-pressed to find an atheist who's ever said that, because that is a dumbass sentence. Well, if this is true, then God must have created the chicken. Seriously? Because it says in Genesis that he... It says clearly in Genesis that he created all life on Earth. Does that include the fucking snake that tricked his favorite creation, which for whatever he let into the garden to trick his favorite creation? Fuck! So, it must have come from somewhere, it must have uh, been created. No! It came from whatever species came before that. In other words, must have... Uh, supernaturally being created. Okay, so my second question is, why do you believe that we came from monkeys? Because we fucking are monkeys. I mean, what are the chances of this planet just being at the right distance from the sun, just the right distance to sustain life? That has absolutely nothing to do with the question of monkeys. Also, there is quite a large range at which the Earth could have been from the sun. Probably a couple thousand miles. So, if our planet was a little bit uh, further from the sun... A lot bit further. We would all freeze to death. If our planet was a little bit closer to the sun... we A lot bit closer. We would all die because it would be too hot to, su to sustain life. And if the sun were larger but dimmer, we would have to be at a different position. If the sun would have been smaller but hotter, we would have been at a different position. The thing is, life isn't going to start on a planet that can't sustain it. That would be fucking retarded. So what are the chances of us being here? What are the chances of complex organisms forming on Earth? And yet you guys say... What are the chances of us having anything to do with fucking monkeys? that we came from monkeys. Because we are monkeys. Well, where did, where did the monkey come from? <laughs> well, monkeys tend to have parents. And monkey populations tend to have parent populations. Once again, you don't know the answer to this question. We have a near complete fossil lineage that would beg to differ. My third question. Do you believe that you'll go somewhere when you die? Yes, in the fucking ground. It seems a bit strange that when you die, nothing happens. I think it'd be strange if something did happen. There might be a little foul play involved. I think that's called necrophilia. There has to be somewhere you go when you die. No, there doesn't, because existence is a sad, miserable, cold piss in the face. What happens to your conscience and your feelings when you die? They fucking stop. Do they just fade away? Do Yep. Does your existence 
just fade away? Unless you're really important or a complete dick like Hitler. I believe if you repent and you believe in Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior, you will go to heaven and have eternal life as it describes in the Bible. And I believe if we're not careful, zombies are going to uh, raise from the grave and eat us all. But that's kind of fucking silly, now ain't it? Now, atheists believe that when you die, nothing happens. Then what? Because as far as we can tell, nothing does happen. Your brain stops, your body rots. You start to smell funny, so we toss you in a hole. What's the point of life? What's the point of anything that you do? There really isn't one. But we're here, so we might as well enjoy it. We can't do a whole lot else about it. So you need to make that choice. Am I going to be a Christian, or am I going to be an atheist? Or am I going to be a Buddhist, or am I going to be a Muslim, or am I going to be a Zoroastrian, or am I going to be a Canadian? My fourth question is, why do atheists need to constantly say that God doesn't exist, and try and put down and bully Christians? Because you guys are a bunch of pricks about it. And quite frankly, there's a number of you in power who have a lot of crazy ideas. And that could get us in trouble just by being near you. And quite frankly, we don't want that trouble. Why do you need to constantly argue against Christians? If you don't believe in God, that's fine. But you shouldn't go around trying to anti-preach. Isn't that exactly what you're doing right now? You're the fucking kettle, and you're complaining about the pot being black. 